Hi, I'm thrilled to be here with Karen Moxon, uh, CEO, Director of the Association for NLP. And for those people who don't know about neuro-linguistic programming, what is it? We've got the thing, it's something to do with the mind, something to do with language, and something to do with programming, I guess, the habits that we have. Tell us a little bit about what, what is it in layman's terms. summarised it in a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do think it, it, it is. It's about yeah, NLP, neuro-linguistic programming. It's about using the brain and the language and how you program your own responses. It's really a bit of a user's manual to the mind, right. I think, not from a biological perspective. And it's very much about understanding and empowering yourself to understand that your thoughts are under your control. I think that's very empowering. God, yeah, so it's just about actually helping people. Lots of people feel as though their minds are all over the place, but actually just help them to have a healthier relationship with what they think and so on, and that hopefully helps them change kind of those habits or be aware of what they're doing and yeah. use work with their it mind is, as opposed it's, to it's a self-awareness it yeah. really is it's a self-awareness it could be t treated as a philosophy for life um there are some very sensible strategies in it um very sensible techniques and things like that that you can learn that that just empower you to do more of what you do well and presumably it's related to lots of other fields in this whole personal development and professional mm -hmm. development world like coaching and so on all part of the, yeah. a broader family. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's another tool for the toolbox. You know, sometimes we find ourselves in situations where you need to be able to draw on extra resources, and NLP can definitely be one of those resources that you can draw upon in a lot of different situations.